Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Price! Ye who heard my remains. Return to the appointed place to face me! Curious sir and curious sir. You know, kind of like an Alice in Wonderland. Uh, oh, excuse me. You spin me right round, baby, right round When you're going down, when you're going downtown You spin my head right round, right Oh, hello, this is awkward. Hi guys, how you doing? I'm Silent Senior 9 and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last we left off, we were going to go ahead and take care of the Don Jiro's quest. So let's go ahead and take care of that, shall we? Our first order of business is in Clock Town, so I'll see you guys there and a jiffy. And we're here. Happy landings. Hoorah for that. Hey, there's the Deku Scrub that we uh, traded that one land title lead for. He, if we, I think if you talk to him here, you can talk to him as Link, but I'm not sure. Let me see here. Doot doot doot. Oh yeah, you can! Sweet! Nice, okay. Because when you're in the Southern Swamp, you actually had to pay... Or pay. You had to actually have the Deku Mask on in order to buy magic beans from him, but I guess since you gave him the land title, he's open for business to, for anyone, so that's kind of cool, actually. I wonder if, I'm going to see if I can find out if that's true for all of them, honestly, though. I, I may do that off-screen and then just confirm it later, so. Anyway, here's the first frog. He's in the laundry pool. Ah, Danjiro. It has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? That look, it is true! Winter was so long that I began to lose all hope. Ribbit. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. Ribbit. And off he goes. It's kind of neat how they travel, though. It doesn't look like they have to use the Song of Soaring to do it there. Then maybe they just dissipate, or perhaps they have learned some kind of teleporting technique that they got from Kum and Kotaka. You know, how they like shrink themselves down to size and then teleport well. Actually, I guess technically they did that only in, um, excuse me, the Spirit Temple when you were facing off, facing off against uh, Naburu when she was transformed into one guard. Anyway, why am I talking you guys' ears off? We gotta head off into the next area. The next area is in Southern Swamps. I'll see you guys there in a moment. And the Southern Swamp says hi. So I say hi back to the Southern Swamp. Okay, maybe the Southern Swamp doesn't say anything, but whee wee it's back to Stanksville. Why am I going up this way? Because I'm crazy. I'm crazy! <laughs> oh my gosh. I was actually, before I was recording this, actually, I think this is like the third attempt when I had this happen. I was looking back over my past videos and I'm like, good, googly moogly. That's what I sounded like? That's what I was? Ish. I mean, I'm not saying it was all bad. But there were a lot of moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, face palm to the for the, like to the max. Seriously, I'm kind of glad that I've like decided to take a moment to improve upon what I've already made so far, and I'm not accepting anything like less than the best, basically, which is a good thing to do, you know. Anyhow, the uh, third actually, what I wanted to do, yeah, I wanted to do it if I can do it here, yeah, hopefully. Right here, there's a beehive actually. Kind of noteworthy. It gives you a nice whop of 20 rubies. Um, the frog is actually over here on this log, so let's go ahead and come on over here. I think you can actually get here if you just swim, but I figured, hey, might as well just use the Deku form, you know. I mean, not many people use him, so might as well show him some love, you know. Show him the love. And I think these frogs all say the same thing. Brought all this way. Could it be? Freaking spring has finally come. Look is true. Winter, I begin to lose all hope. Blah de blah. Yep, all the same. Sorry, I wish they all had like distinctive dialogues, and I could each and give them like each a unique voice, but that's not the case. So the next frog is, or the next two frogs are actually the Gecko frogs that were in the Woodfall Temple and the Great Bay Temple. So I will see you guys in either one, depending on which one I'm in the mood to go for first. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, right after that burp. Sorry. It's alive once again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm tuning in back, actually. 
I just, I, I guess, I got in a laughing fit earlier at because of the fact I decided to do that again. You know, the, it's alive again. I know it's not that funny, but I was just like, you know what? Seriously, you actually remembered you did that, and you're actually going to do that a second time? Really? <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I seriously, I, just, I almost shook my headphones off how badly I was laughing. It was just ridiculous. Anyhow. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to cut right to it because I just wanted to show you guys a quick way to get to where we need to get to, which is the Gecko's room. And that is off to the right over here, if I time that jump right. You want to spin jump off of it before you hop right off, because that way you'll get enough uh, trajectory, I guess you want to call it, toward that direction. And then basically you just come in here and fire an arrow at that golden eye up the top. And then as soon as you do that... It's like last time, basically, the platform will rise up. You don't need to have the water clean, you know. Last time I had the water automatically clean of the poison, but this time, obviously, for the sake of time... Wow, there's a lot of time. Jeez, man. It's like I'm playing Majora's Mask, or... Actually, you know, more appropriately, it, it would probably have served better in Ocarina of Time, because, you I mean, shoot. It's about a kid... About a kid... Bleh, about a kid... Can we say that one more time? It's about a kid. Oh. <laughs> it's basically about a boy who's like the hero of time, you know, I'm just saying. Hello! Hi, friend! Let's We're back for round two, you ready? Oh, snap. Only took one shot, nice. I like this sword. I forgot about the sword being powerful. Charge! Alright, you hippie hoppity. Here, eat that. Thank you. Think you can hip hop and beat bop, dance till you drop? I don't think so. Mrs. Doubtfire does not approve, so I don't approve. Didn't I ever tell you? I'm friends with Bomberman. He's on my side, punk. That's right, you little cretin. You slimy little toad. Bomberman's on my side. He's not on your side. You nasty little thing. You nasty. Sorry. I can't make that my thing because Raven Simone's kind of the sole owner of that. Like, seriously, that and, uh... Oh, snap! That's another one she does. Hello, frog egg! Head to the mountains! Yes, yes, we know the whole deal. Teleportation for you. Alrighty, so I guess that leaves one, only one more. Or maybe this is the last one. I don't know. I might reverse these. Who knows? Anyhow, I'll see you guys in Great Bay. Peace! It's turtle time! Hoorah! Bye-bye, turtle! Actually, Squirt, yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know, I can't call him Squirt, because Squirt's already taken. And I can't call him Crush, either. Oh, bummer. Anyway, hey guys, we're back. Um, I'm gonna show just briefly bits and pieces here and there, hopefully. If not, then you'll just have to endure the entire ride. Lay sorry. Or, as uh, they say in Spanish, lo siento. Um, basically, the way to the... get to the Gecko Room is pretty much the same as last time, except... Because we already have the ice arrows, there's a little less backtracking. So it's roughly the same route that we did last time in order to get to the ice or ice arrows. Get to the gecko in this place. Which is the second like mini boss in this temple. If you were paying attention to my uh, I think it was how many parts was that? It was like four? Three, four yeah, it was four because I fought the boss in the fourth part. Yeah, I remember now. Because the third one was the second half of the temple, which was really a snoozer. Surprised I actually remember that one, because <laughs> that one was quite... I mean, it was a snoozer for me to have to edit. Like, seriously, I had to take two days to edit that one, because I'm like, oh my gosh. My eyes are droopy. That, I'll probably credit the fact that I chose to try and edit it. But well, pfft. well, dude! This isn't leapfrog. We're not trying to leapfrog here. I mean, yeah, we're trying to... F our suspect is a frog in question, but seriously, man, come on. Alrighty, so down in the water here, lay fishies that we need to follow, which is up top here. You just go on through here, past these Dexy hands right here. Okay, fine. You can get grabbed by them if you truthfully like the feeling of having their hands all over you. I don't personally, because they're all slimy, bumpy, and warty. You know, it's just kind of gross. You're gonna go past in here, past the nasty Deco Bio Room, Deco or Bio Deco Baba Plant Room. Ugh. A bunch of nasty little cretins. And then, of course, like before, this was the room with the, I believe, the compass. 
You're going to ignore the compass and the small key, and you're just going to take the ice arrow right across this lovely little water pond of an area. Okay. Oh, yep, that's right. If you're too close to the wall with ice, you won't be able to make the ice block appear in the water. And from my understanding, I've tried using the ice arrows in other places, including the boss room with Georg, and it turns out there's only certain areas you can use the ice arrows on, so... I'm sad to say that the ice arrows really don't serve a multi-purpose function of creating platforms in the water wherever you're at. But at least they look really cool, because blue... I mean, shoot, they're blue, and blue's my favorite color, man. Hi, buddy! You up for round two? Even though it smells like DIRTY WET WIPES in here! Seriously, with all the sewage in here. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles! They're everywhere. And shatter your dreams, you nasty little slimy toad. Hop into that one, buddy boy. Yeah! Hoorah! Victory once again. And with his defeat, we have successfully recruited the fourth and final Froggy for the Don Jiro's Choir. Ah, Don Jiro, it has been so long! What has brought you all this way? Ruit, ruit. Could it be has spring finally come to the mountains? Ruit. That look, it is true! Winter has so, was so long, and I began to lose all hope! Ruit. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately! Teleportation! Alrighty, well, I actually want to do something here while we are in the Great Bay Temple before we leave. And that is, we've got to fight Georg again in order to unlock something. That's just kind of a way to set up. So excuse me while I do that. I may cut straight to the Don Jiro thing, or I may just show bits and pieces of me beating the tar out of Georg a second time like I did Goat. So see you wherever I see you, okay guys? I'm having fish tonight! Oops, you ate me again. I hope I tasted good. I'ma give you diabetes, oh baby, baby, hope you don't mind I'm crazy. I'm the craziest Genji ever, I'm not that same. There we go, I think this should do it actually, assuming these fish don't get in the way. I think I, I think you made your point. Stop attacking me, I know you're, I'm attacking your mama, but seriously, lay off. That's right. Flop on the deck like a flopping fish! Oh wait, no, that's not how the song goes. Seriously? Ugh, I need to watch my more Spongebob, man. You know, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, we defeated Georg. There we go. That's all that matters. Hoorah for that. <laughs> <laughs> man, why are you yawning, man? Seriously, don't yawn. Ugh, it's not good. Okie dokie artichokies, and to conclude the video, we have a lovely frog choir. Well, if it isn't the great Don Jiro, shall we be get singing once? Or sing once again? The conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how deep, this is how deeply we are were moved by your spectacular conducting. Wow, that's pretty moved, man. Thanks, guys. You're so nice, so thoughtful, so thoughtful. Let us do it again sometime. So yeah, if you do the little uh, frog choir thingy. It'll actually keep going and going and going. You can even walk away, and you will never escape their voices. That is until you leave the area, of course, and you stop. You don't talk to them again. But if you talk to them, essentially what's going to happen is this. You can't escape their voices, even if you travel to the top of that hill up there. And I'm going to prove it. Okay, so I'm actually here underwater. I couldn't find a way to get on top of the cliff without actually what's considered leaving the area. And if you go into the entrance on the right side there on the map, even though you're not actually leaving the area, 
the game itself considers it leaving, so I guess the best next, next best like test is underwater. And as you can see, we have some talented singers in the Frog Choir, apparently, because we can hear them even underwater. I mean, we're not far, far away, but still, that's pretty doggone talented to be able to hear that. But anyhow, that's pretty much it for this video. This is me, Silent Senior 09, once again, saying I love you all very much. Please don't let your tails flap. Take care, y'all. And in the uh, question of the video, how are you doing in your school? Or how are you doing at your work? Or how are you doing at home surviving on survival money until you get a job or continue going to school? Leave it in the comments how you're doing. And if you if you don't fit in any of the above category, just tell me how you're doing. That's cool too, you know. I'm fine with that. Leave it in the comments. And peace out, y'all.